So Chainlink is fundamentally a protocol that seeks to create the low level standards for how the new Web3 based financial system works. And by creating these standards, we enable everything to work in a transparent, cryptographically guaranteed way. I'm the co-founder of Chainlink, uh, which is a Web3 platform that enables more advanced smart contracts that are previously not possible. The way it does that is similarly to how TCP IP unified the different internet technologies into this single thing we call the internet. CCIP does the same thing for blockchain technology. The first consideration for, for all the banks that see that they're gonna to need to transact with hundreds of other counterparties on hundreds of other chains is how do I efficiently integrate into those chains and how do I get the access to their liquidity to come to my assets? The second version of this problem is how do I get my own backend infrastructure to integrate with chains with a minimal investment? And that's where the Chainlink abstraction layer and CCIP also have a big role to play because with one integration, banks can integrate with hundreds of chains without having to ever actually go on any of those other chains because they can use them from this one interface and abstraction layer and CCIP. The second big consideration is security, because when you're uh, moving value and the system is holding value, security is a key property. There hasn't been a system in history that can't provide security but does get value. So the security and reliability of CCIP at this point is unsurpassed by any other system, and you can do that connection from your existing backend or from your own chain, which by the way, no, no other system right now can do anything close to that. And then the final point is that the security um, guaranteed so far by the system has held up to all kinds of adversaries, congestion events. So I would say that um, those considerations, those technical considerations of how do I integrate into the most liquidity, how do I do it efficiently, and how do I do it securely, are the things that CCIP provides and what it was actually architected to do. The first way that we help is we allow you to integrate with hundreds of different chains with one integration that connects to your existing systems. And this is what we worked on together with Swift. It was the ability to use Swift messages, a widely used standard for banks to transact with each other and to define their internal operations. So how do you take an existing standard like Swift messages and how do you use them to trigger transactions in hundreds of different chains securely and trigger those transactions actually at a very deep level. It, it isn't just about sending value to a chain. It's actually about sending the value to blockchain X, making it go to specific smart contract Y, and then triggering very, very specific function Z, such as the buy function or the deposit function. So this greatly reduces the burdens of banks. It takes it from, I need to integrate with hundreds of systems and thousands of systems, to I need to integrate with one system, and that one system connects me to all my counterparties, all their liquidity, and allows me to efficiently and securely interact with their contracts and to receive confirmations and information back into my system. And then the final thing is, is as that asset is generated, it needs to be enriched with various critical data. Then it needs to be moved to another location and then probably another location. So it's generated on blockchain A, sold to a bank on blockchain B, and then put in a blockchain C custodian. But all along the way, even as it's moving or wherever it ends up, it needs to remain updated with the status of the reserves, with the price, with identity, with all this various information. So this means we can generate the asset by enriching it, we can move the asset and provide it access to huge amounts of global liquidity, and as the asset moves wherever it's gonna result, we allow the asset to remain updated and remain a golden source of truth. And so this is um, you know, really how we, we, we enable the banks to solve this challenge, is the integration burden goes down, the ability for the asset to remain updated and de-risked uh, is initially created and then maintained wherever it ends up. And then also you get access to huge amounts of liquidity by uh, being able to have that asset purchasable and resellable on hundreds of different chains that are in the process of integrating with CCIP.